Former Rochester Police Chief Laron Singletary is suing the city of Rochester and Mayor Lovely Warren. Jack Watson has been reviewing this lawsuit all afternoon. He joins us now in the newsroom with what he found out. Jack. Adam, I'd like to begin with the lawsuit itself and the allegations made within the suit and then a city spokesperson's response this evening. So let's start with the lawsuit. It accuses Mayor Warren of defaming Chief Singletary and alleges the chief was wrongfully terminated last September, days after he announced his retirement. It then details a timeline of what the suit cites as communications between the mayor and the chief and some other big players in the case. The suit alleges several statements the mayor made were false. They point to a few specific instances cited within the lawsuit as a press conference on September 3rd, 2020. Let's play the clip of the soundbite cited in the suit. In addition, I have addressed with the police chief how deeply and personally and professionally disappointed I am for him failing to fully and accurately inform me about what occurred with Mr. Prude. He knows he needs to do better to truly protect and serve our community, and I believe that he will. So again, that is a clip from the press conference that was cited on September 3rd, 2020. This is a statement from a city spokesman this afternoon. He says, quote, Mr. Singletary's testimony to the special counsel detailed his own inability to tell the truth. As a simple viewing of his testimony under oath clearly shows, it continues Mr. Singletary failed in his duties as chief and was rightfully terminated due to those failures. We're continuing to comb through every detail of this lawsuit, and the full lawsuit is available on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Adam. Jack, thanks. Former Chief Singletary is seeking $1.5 million in damages.